Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about how do you standardize or normalize variable in Stata. So there are different ways of standardizing or normalizing variable. For example, we can use z-score or mean centering or normalization. And in Stata, we have this center command that is quite useful and an easy way of doing all this process. So we, we will first discuss how do do we do this manually and walk you through the process and that would help us in learning uh, the the idea behind these these methods and lastly we'll discuss the center command that is easy uh, and intuitive to use so let's load this uh, sysuse data and let's start with uh, how do we standardize a variable now standardization means that uh, we uh, we deduct the mean of the specific variable from all of its values and divide them by its standard uh, deviation. So that way we would have a variable that would have a mean value of zero and uh, its uh, standard deviation would be equal to one. Now we do standardization so that we can bring all the different variables onto a similar scale and that way they are easy for us to compare. So let's uh, summarize and let's look at this price variable. This is a data set related to auto data set that contains different variables related to uh, different cars. We have their price, their mileage, how, their, their weight, their length, etc, etc. Now there is this variable, the price of these cars, and we can see that there are different price values, right? And let's say if we wanted to standardize this, what we would do is we would generate a new variable, let's call it price new, and that would be equal to uh, the price variable. So it, what this would do is it would take each value of this price variable minus the mean value, which we, we got it from here, uh, divided by the standard deviation of the price variable, which you got it from here. So if I execute this, and if I can show you this from the data view, we can see that we got this new variable called price new, and this is a standardized variable. And we, we discussed that it would have a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. So this is a mean of zero. And now this is what we did a manual method just to give you an idea of what process goes behind the standardization or z-score. And let's do this easy method that we can use to standardize a variable in Stata. So we have this command which is called egen and let's create a new variable, let's call it price new one. So we have a different variable uh, than this one. And let's use this std function. This std function is used to calculate the z score of a variable. So we want Stata to calculate the z score of this price variable. So if I execute this, uh, this variable would be created and it contains the exact same values as we have when we did the manual method. Now there might be small changes because in the manual method we didn't had quite a lot of decimal uh, points pre precision, but in this case, obviously we do have a precision. So let's summarize the price, the price new variable and the price new one variable that we created. And you can see that all of, both of these variables do have a mean of zero and their standard deviation is one, right? Let's move to how do we standardize, how do we standardize using menus? You can also do this process from menus you'd have to click on data, then create and change data. Then there is this uh, option which is called create a new variable extended. And if we go over there, you would just write the name of the new variable over in this checkbox, in this, uh, in this text box, and scroll way down where you see this standardized value. You can change the mean value or the standard deviation value if you want to. But uh, if you just, and you write the name of the variable that you want to change, press OK and that would create this standardized value. Let's move to the second part, which is called mean centering. But in mean centering, what we do is simply deduct the mean from uh, the uh, each value of the variable. So we have this, this price variable and we know its mean value is 2,949. Let's create a price center, uh, which is mean centered and let's take each value of price variable and deduct the mean. So instead of writing it manually over here, this value, we are using the scalar. Remember, we can access scalars using this command return list, and that would give us the name of the scalar that stores the mean value. Uh, 
Okay. So let's execute this and let's look at the mean value. Now what mean centering would do is it would not change the standard deviation, but it would simply convert the mean value to zero, right? Deducting it mean value from each of the values of the price variable would convert it into a zero mean value. Let's move to the third part, which is which is called normalization. Now, normalization, uh, you know, what it does is it uh, it scales the variable to a fixed range. So typically, the range is from from zero to one. In normalization, is typically used when the scale of a variable is not known and when the variable has a non-uniform distribution. Now, this helps this variable to bring it to a same scale, and it's again easier. Uh, for us to compare. Now what we do is nor in normalization is we take the original variable minus the minimum value and divide it by the range that is the, the difference between the maximum and the minimum value. So let's do this process for the MPG variable. Let's execute summarize. We have the mean and the minimum and the maximum value. We do not need mean in this case. So let's uh, create MPG1 and that would be or so that would be mpg minus the minimum value divided by the range that is maximum minus minimum so this is how we can write command but i would rather use uh, both of them which is the scalar method that i discussed previously uh, both of these would give us the same values that is their mean would be now uh, zero right uh, last is how do we use the center command? Now the center command is the easy way to use uh, to, to standardize or normalize a variable. We just tried the name of the command and name of the variables that we want to standardize. What it would do is it would create uh, these variables and add a prefix to them. So for example, by default, it would centerize, uh, it would do mean centering of the variable. So let's compare this with our the variable that we generated and the variable that is generated from the from the center command if we compare them you would see that we get the exact same values uh, we can also do standardization uh, and we can also add prefix to each of the variable that would be created so by default it added a prefix of c underscore but we can have a different prefix so let's standardize this price variable and let's compare it with the variable that we generated std underscore price and the variable uh, that we generated using center command and the variable that we generated previously using the manual method and you can see that they produces almost the same result uh, we can also generate change the name of the variable that would be generated so let's say we want to generate variable but and instead of having this c underscore price let's have a new name that we want to give it to now the nice thing is that we can use by sort uh, for us, so what it would do is it would do mean centering for for this price variable, but uh, instead of like doing the mean of all the price uh, values in the price variable, it would do it for each category of the foreign variable. So there are a lot of different options that you can learn from this uh, center command. Uh, you can look at the help menu and look at the different options that are there, play with them and learn this standard center command. This is quite an easy way to standardize or normalize a variable. So I hope this video was useful. Do subscribe to this channel and do hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching this video.